You can use WordFast Classic Glossaries to store your terminology. Glossaries can help you retrieve stored terms during translation. You can use up to three glossaries at the same time. Click on the first rightmost toolbar button, or press Ctrl Alt W. Note that this button has two different shapes based on the WordFast Classic version you use. Under the main tab, Terminology, and any of the sub-tabs of WordFast Classic Glossaries, there are two buttons. Select Glossary, is for opening an existing WordFast Glossary. To create a new glossary, click New Glossary. Save your new WordFast Glossary. Type a suitable name for the new glossary file, in Latin letters only, don't use accented or special characters. Here, you can notice the path and details of the new WordFast glossary. Close this window. WordFast glossaries can be used during the normal translation session. Note that using a translation memory is necessary, while using a glossary is an optional function. Please watch the video, WordFast Classic Step-by-Step -step Translation Session, if you have not watched it yet. Let's see how to add a term to your WordFast Classic Glossary. Select the source term, and press Ctrl Alt T, once. Select the target equivalent, and press Ctrl Alt T, again. Select the active WordFast Glossary to which you want to add the term. Let's try adding another term to the word fast glossary. You can add an asterisk at the end of the source term to help word fast recognize terms with different endings. This is an example of the manual fuzzy terminology recognition. While translating, you may face the source term again. If the source term appears again in the source text, it will be highlighted in turquoise. To select the term, press Ctrl Alt right arrow, or click the toolbar button next placeable. To insert the equivalent of the term, Press Ctrl Alt Down Arrow, or click the toolbar button Copy Placeable. The target equivalent will be inserted from the active glossary. In this segment, we have a term recognized by WordFast Classic, although it is slightly different from the one added to the glossary. This is an example of the fuzzy terminology recognition. Using tab is another way for inserting a term, placeable, or any other word, through typing its first letter and then pressing tab. Here, we have other types of placeables, such as numbers and email addresses. We can insert them in the same way using either Ctrl Alt right and Ctrl Alt down, or tab. You can also use the new WordFast Classic feature, Autocomplete. It's your turn. Create a new WordFast glossary and try to use it during translation with WordFast Classic. Thanks for watching and goodbye.